Hey, what I do everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. So this video is gonna kind of be like all over the place and sometimes that's just the way life is. We had a bunch of stuff going on out here at the ranch lately. We got a llama, we got some baby goats. I found some irrigation that I didn't even know existed that I'm super excited about. So there might be some other stuff that makes its way into this video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump on into it and let's roll. Bring the band in. So I said let's roll, but uh, we got a little issue with the Ranger. We got a flat tire, so let's go ahead and throw some air in this bad boy. All right, now let's roll. Good morning, beautiful girl. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Okay, let's go put a new feeder. Come on. All right, so this is the goat that we're gonna be milking right there. So basically what we do, we take a little bit of feed. We go ahead and put it in the stand right here. This stuff is like candy to them. So she'll come running for this. She'll put her head right through here and then we'll secure her. And then from there, I'll go ahead and start trying to milk her. So I'm not a pro, my wife is way better at this than I am. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze and you wanna cut off the top and then you're gonna squeeze it out the bottom. Because if you just squeeze, it basically just pushes it back up into the other. So you gotta close it off and then squeeze. And then basically you guys will see how like kind of deflated and dangly this one is because it's pretty much empty. But this guy back here is still full. And this is about how much we get from one goat. And if you guys have ever been to the grocery store and seen the price of goat milk, it's ridiculous. And my kids drink this stuff. That's why they're strong like bulls. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the fridge and then I'm gonna run back up there and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Chaka. Ah! See the cutest baby goat ever. Okay, let's go. I have not seen them yet. Okay. That's one. Oh my goodness. Goat. What goat is this? Um, oh. Is this one yours? Yeah. Yeah? What'd you name it? I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. Hmm. In there? Are there two? Two. Two in there. Hey, baby goaties. We had them yesterday. Come on, goats. Come on. See, one's walking. Hey, guys. Come on. Hey. It'll be painting. And the other goat walked behind was painted. Oh, where's the mommy? Where's the mommy? Let her out. Did you let her out? Yeah, why'd you let the goats out? Cause some can eat the stinging nettle. Oh, so they can eat the stinging nettle? Yeah. yeah so okay. Little, I think they're eating the hay out of the back of the ranger. Yeah. Yep. You want to get another one out of there? Yeah. All right, go for it. Where's... Yeah. Oh, here they come. Uh, hey, little girls. So it was an exciting day out here yesterday. Baby goats are like super impressive. They pretty much come out like ready to go on walking. So we're gonna get the mom back in here so they're not in there by themselves. But uh, yeah, those are our new baby goats. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let mom feed her kids for a little bit, but now for the part that I'm like most excited about. So the other day my wife sent me a message and was like, what do you think about a llama? Started sending me a couple links and well, long story short, now we have one. And there's a couple reasons that we got one. So we can't be here like 24 hours a day. So to offset that, we have a couple animals that help out. Like over here, we're raising some Anatolian shepherds that they do a pretty good job. Once they're a little bit older, we're gonna go ahead and introduce them to the goats after they've kind of grown out of like their teenager phase a little bit. But we're gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to Chaco the llama. You wanna come in with me? Yeah, but I can do the other way. The other way? No. No, that's a climbing in way. Okay, come in with me. Charlie, I don't have any food for you. Sure. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> don't stand behind it. Come here, Chaco. Are you potty trained? You learned how to poop in one place? Not bad, not bad, Chaco. You want me to try? Yeah. Okay. Let's put your hand out like this. No, one at a time. One at a time? Yeah. Ooh, is that yummy, Chaco? What do you think about that? Huh? 
What do you think about this camera? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm trying to eat my microphone. But anyhow, a couple of weeks back, we had what we think was a mountain lion. We're not 100% sure. Something came into one of our goat's pens and just decimated the goat. Completely ripped it apart. I don't think it was coyotes. It didn't really have like the traditional signs of like a coyote attack. So, so a couple of weeks back, my wife gives me a call and she's like, what do you think about getting a llama? She sent me some pictures and I was like, what, are you serious? And one of the main reasons that we got this thing, other than llamas being like super awesome, he's gonna be a super cool addition to the ranch. So llamas are super funny animals. I have not caught him spitting yet. I can't wait till the day that that actually happens, but they got these like super goofy bug teeth. Apparently they can hold their own against predators. So we got a lot of work to do with him. We need to finish fencing in the rest of the property so we can just kind of let him roam. And I guess they can hold their own against some pretty gnarly predators. So, but probably one of the things that I'm like most excited about with this llama is that come summertime, you guys know that we're gonna have to shear him. And of course, he's gonna get a mullet. What's up, buddy? You want some more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going? You gonna show us your teeth? You gonna... So not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a shovel sticking up out of the ground somewhere over there and there's a pipe that's broken. And last night I was taking a shower and all of a sudden I lost water pressure and basically one of these three cows out here, they decided to go ahead and break the valve assembly that was over there. So I went ahead and fed them again real quick, hoping that they get like a food coma and maybe they'll go take a nap or something and leave us alone because we're about to head in there and uh, once we start gluing stuff together, I don't really want to be bothered too much. So basically we're going to be cutting this T out, putting a new T in, and these are the three inch PVC couplers. These things are super awesome. So there's a couple ways to fix a three inch line. So basically if you have one, you can either dig it way back that way, way back that way. Basically you lift them up and drop them together or you can use a three inch PVC slip coupler. These things are super awesome. They make it way easier. So before I actually use this thing, these are like super good in case of emergency. I am gonna dig it back a little bit and see if I can do like the old lift and drop it together. And if that doesn't work, we'll go ahead and use this thing. I bought a valve with that box. I'm gonna try and tie this back in. Tie it back into what? That two inch line. Uh -huh. I don't know where it goes. I don't know what it does. But... Is that what you're trying to find right now? I'm no, I'm just exposing this so I can try and lift it up and drop it down in. Nope. Yeah, it used to come up and go into that. Yeah. We're almost there. We almost have water again. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring in some DG. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it into the bottom of that three inch pipe. And then technically the stuff's supposed to sit for like 24 hours, but we don't really wanna wait that long because we don't have any water right now and I gotta flush the system out. And so we'll probably give it like five or six hours and then we'll do like a pressure test. And then we're gonna have a dope ball fight. And then if it doesn't leak, we'll bring DG in. We'll cover this whole thing up. We'll flip that can around so the lid's actually doing what it's supposed to. And then we'll bring the DG or dirt. I'll probably reuse this stuff up to the grade of that can. And then we'll call this project done. And then from there, I'm going to jump in the earth mover. And we're going to start working on the alleyway because the rain just absolutely destroyed that last time it came through here. We got probably like, I think we're about done with this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let this sit. And what, should we have a dirt ball fight? Yeah. You want to throw dirt at each other? Yeah. For reals? These are mine. Where's mine? All right, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, oh. No. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, let's clean up, okay? Two ninety nine is so dirty, huh? Yeah. We should take out this. We should get this thing out with the pressure washer. Yeah. Can you wash it for me? No! What? Oh, come on! But I didn't know how to use it. Yeah. Well, let's get this thing warmed up. I hate when this comes up. Uh, gotta go buy some more stuff and give it another maintenance. All right, well, I think the cows have lost enough interest, so you guys can see that we've already packed sand underneath the bottom side. So once this does fill up, there's not gonna be like pressure pushing downwards because, 
All right, well, I think we're about ready to go ahead and pressure test this thing. You guys can see that we've already brought the sand up towards the bottom side. It's packed down there real good. So when this does fill up with water, it's not going to sag at all. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to run up to the front of the property now, open a valve. And then after we do that, we're going to head back over that way. We're going to re-energize the system, come up here and see if this thing leaks. Ready to go, buddy? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Or do you want to stay in the dirt? Go all right, let's go open that valve up in the system there's only one that's like maybe even a little bit higher and that's that guy up there but i didn't bring any channel locks with me and the valve for that one's broken so this is the one that we're going to open up think it's ready yeah all right let's do this all right let's go check it all right, so the system's being filled back up. There's not really any pressure in the system yet, but we are not leaking right here. So we're gonna head back up towards the front of the property. We're gonna go check on that one valve that we opened up. And as soon as it's just like constant water, no more air, we'll go ahead and close it. And then we'll wait for this to pressurize and we'll take a look at everything. And then if it's not leaking, we'll go ahead and cover it back up. All right, so I'm trying pretty hard to contain my excitement right now, but I just figured out something that's like super cool. Now, when we lived out here, this is pretty much capped off right here, and I didn't know where it went, and we didn't know what half of the pipes underground here did. So, since it was capped, there was a valve right here that had like a really bad leak, and this whole area was green. And so, I basically just cut the valve off, capped it, and then we kind of left it at that. And so basically over the years, this is kind of like washed out because a lot of water runs through here anytime it rains. And since it got exposed, the cows pretty much took care of it, broke it again. But now that I've got this tied in, we're going to go ahead and turn this valve on. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's up. So you guys will be able to hear the amount of water that comes through here. But check this out. All right. So we got one geyser right there and we got a sprinkler over there and a sprinkler over there. And there's actually a sprinkler on the other side on my neighbor's property line. So this is pretty exciting. So we got to get a new sprinkler for that. But we're slowly starting to figure out like the irrigation side of this property. So this is like a huge step in the right direction. I'm pretty excited. My son's super excited, but I think we're good. Uh, we let this pressurize already. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all backfilled. We'll get it covered up how it's supposed to be. But uh, my son's feeling a little bit on the crazy side right now. And uh, he's gonna go ahead and run through that. Oh, you didn't even get wet. That was weak. Oh boy, you're gonna freeze. You are an animal, buddy. Are you wet on the inside too? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> you crazy kid. Dude, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, me too. All right, so I think I just about got this. I went ahead and brought the asphalt rake out, smoothed things out a little bit. Hindsight's 2020. If I had to do this again, I probably would've got a little bit deeper of a can, set that valve a little bit lower. I think we'll be all right, and I might change it up in the future, but for now, we are up and running. It's good. I'm gonna go ahead and open this valve up again one more time just to go ahead and check this out because I'm super excited about this, but... Oh, what? We got a sprinkler right here, too. Holy cow. Didn't know about this guy. So we got one. I wonder where the valve that controls those are. It's not as much of a cowboy as I used to be. I used to jump over that. Oh, see, he's half dog. All right, so we just got done moving Chaco into his new pen before he was a little bit over that way, but since we've got these new baby goats in this pen, we went ahead and brought over here so he can kind of help guard this area to keep any intruders from coming in this way. But this is what we got him for, and uh, so far he's, uh, how's he doing? He's good. He's good? Yeah, he hasn't spit. Yeah. So. I want to catch him spitting so bad. I don't. Supposedly it smells really, really bad. Hmm. So do we get him a girlfriend or do we neuter him? <laughs> what do you guys think? Drop it down in the comments below. Should we get Chaco a girlfriend or we should we give him the old uh, snip snip? Anyhow. Steer. Yeah. Is that what they call them, steers? No. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What's a neutered llama called? If anybody knows, please let us know. But I actually got to go do some work. So All right. Well, I know we kind of jumped around all over the place in this video, but we definitely have our work cut out for us. Finding the irrigation in that field was super awesome. I'm totally going to like shift gears to planting everything in there instead of that small little field up front because, because as I poke around more and more in that field, I think the entire thing's irrigated. So I'm going to have to like do some digging, find out what's actually there. But so before I put the screws this field, I just wanted to give a huge shout out, a massive thanks to a couple of guys that have been helping out the channel over the past year. They've been helping the channel and I just wanted to publicly thank them. And I can't remember six names at once. 
one, so I am going to read them off. But a huge thank you to Joe, Mike, Justin, Jose, Ryan, and I don't know who Mud is, but huge thank you to you guys. You guys are super awesome. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws this video. If you guys could do me a huge solid like, subscribe, share this video with me, go hit that notification button down below so you guys can continue to see whatever else we got going on, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.